contraceptive methods contraception is deliberate prevention of pregnancy by artificial or natural means contraceptive methods can be classified as artificial and natural methods natural methods include abstinence withdrawal method and fertility awareness based methods under which comes the rhythm or calendar method cervical mucus method and basal body temperature method under artificial methods there are temporary methods and permanent methods permanent methods include tubectomy and vasectomy temporary methods can be categorized mainly into barrier methods hormonal methods and non hormonal long acting reversible contraception copper iucd comes under non hormonal long acting reversible contraception barrier methods are male and female condoms diaphragm and spermicides hormonal methods again classified into combined hormonal contraception and progesterone only methods combined hormonal contraception includes combined oral contraceptive pills combined hormonal patch or transdermal patch and combined hormonal ring or vaginal ring progesterone only methods include progesterone only pills levonorgestrel releasing intrauterine system injectable progesterones and progesterone only subdermal implants natural methods under natural methods first comes the abstinence this means abstain from sex or avoid sex this is the safest contraceptive possible but difficult to practice next comes the withdrawal method in this method penis is withdrawn just before ejaculation this is practically difficult for males as difficult to withdraw at right time under natural methods next are fertility awareness based methods under that first comes the calendar or the rhythm method it is based on calculating fertile period sex should be avoided during fertile period it is natural and economical but not suitable for women with irregular cycles next is the cervical mucus method in this method use a cervical secretion to identify fertile time sex should be avoided during secretion days some drugs and vaginal infections can affect normal cervical secretion pattern third fertility awareness based method is basal body temperature method in this method use body temperature to regulate fertility at the time of ovulation temperature rises by 0.2 to 0.5 celsius sex should be avoided during fertile period barrier methods barrier methods are male condoms female condoms and diaphragm condoms are thin sheet of latex which put on erect penis immediately before intercourse it collects semen and prevent it entering vagina it has a success rate of 88% to 98% advantages of using condoms are it is easily available and easy to carry no associated medical risks it protects against sexually transmitted diseases and it is economical special medical supervision not needed and it prevent cervical cancer in partner disadvantages of using condoms are it needs careful use as it can slip off or break it interrupts sexual intercourse and it may decrease sensation 
some people may allergic to latex another barrier method is spermicides which available as foaming tablets suppositories jellies and cream spermicides are applied inside the vagina at least 10 minutes before ejaculation it kills sperm or make it unable to move towards the ovum advantages of using spermicides are it has no hormonal side effects it is a safe woman control method it offers contraception just when needed it may increases vaginal lubrication disadvantages of using spermicides are it may cause irritation in women or partner do not protect against sexually transmitted diseases it is relatively unreliable if used alone hormonal contraceptive methods first combine oral contraceptive pills or cocp combined oral contraceptive pills provide reliable effective contraception it has a failure rate of 0.2 to 0.3% it contain ethyl estradiol 20 to 35 micrograms and are classified by type of progestogen they contain type of progestogen in cocp second generation cocps contain nortestrone and levonorgestrel third generation cocp contain disogestrel gestodine and nogestimate some cocps contain drospirinone and some contain cyproterone acetate which are anti androgenic mode of action of cocp are ovulation inhibition it has a negative feedback on hypothalamus and pituitary it thickens cervical mucus and prevent sperm penetration thinning of endometrium prevents implantation side effects of cocp are it cause breakthrough bleeding especially in the first 3 months and it cause headache and weight gain contraindications to cocp are pregnancy personal history of thromboembolic disease undiagnosed genital tract bleeding cardiovascular disorders migraine with aura estrogen dependent tumors active hepatobiliary diseases and liver tumors and also hypertension and diabetes advantages of using cocp are it reduces menstrual blood loss and pain menstrual cycle can be regulated and controlled it reduces the risk of benign ovarian tumors incident of pelvic inflammatory disease and risk of colorectal cancers and ovarian cancer risk and also it reduces symptoms of premenstrual syndrome and endometriosis disadvantages of using cocp are it increases the risk of venous thromboembolism stroke and cardiovascular diseases has a small increase in the risk of breast cancers and very small association with increased risk of cervical cancers how to use combined oral contraceptive pills contraception is immediate if the woman start the pill between day 1 and 5 of her cycle if the first pill is after day 5 other contraception is needed for 7 days take the pill at the same time every day one pill daily for 21 days followed by seven pill free interval some formulation have seven dummy pills if vomiting or diarrhea use extra contraception 
from the onset of illness and continue it for the next 7 days management of missed pill if missed one or two pills take a hormonal pill as soon as possible it has little or no risk of pregnancy if missed pills three or more in the first or second week take a hormonal pill as soon as possible use backup method for the next 7 days if missed three or more pills in third week take hormonal pill as soon as possible finish all hormonal pills in the packet throw away the seven non hormonal pills in the pack start new pack in the next day and use a backup method for the next 7 days if she had sex in the past 5 days need to take emergency contraception combine hormonal patch or transdermal patch it contain ethinyl estradiol with nogestrel it is replaced weekly for 21 days then 7 patch free days to induce withdrawal bleeding combine hormonal ring or vaginal ring it contains ethinyl estradiol with etonogestrel it remains in situ for 21 days then removed for 7 days to induce a withdrawal bleed next progesterone only methods first progesterone only pills progesterone only pills contain either levonorgestrel nortestrone or ethinodiol acetate it has a failure rate of 0.3 to 4% mode of action of progesterone only pills are thickening of cervical mucus thinning of endometrium preventing implantation and inhibition of ovulation progesterone only pills are useful in conditions where cocp is contraindicated such as during lactation systemic lupus erythematosus or other autoimmune diseases and sickle cell disease as side effects it can cause menstrual disturbances headache nausea mood swings abdominal bloating and breast tenderness contraindications for progesterone only pills are pregnancy undiagnosed genital tract bleeding severe arterial diseases active hepatic diseases and history of recurrent follicular cysts next progesterone only contraceptive method is injectable progesterone this is depot medroxy progesterone acetate or depot provera this is useful for women who are unable or unwilling to take the pill it contains 150 mg of medroxy progesterone it is very effective and its failure rate is less than 1% one dose is effective for 3 months mode of action of injectable progesterone is by stopping ovulation and thickening of cervical mucus plug injectable progesterone are effective and reliable no need of daily pill taking it is independent of intercourse no estrogen side effects disadvantages of injectable progesterones are menstrual disturbances delayed conception as fertility may not return for 6 to 12 months weight gain and bone loss progesterone only subdermal implants it contains etonogestrel insertion and removal of implant involves a small procedure under local anesthesia this video shows jadel insertion and removal
advantages of subdermal implants are it is extremely reliable and easy and convenient to insert reversible at any time and long term protection implanted for 3 years no plant for 5 years no estrogen side effects disadvantages of subdermal implants are insertion and removal under medical supervision necessary irregular menstrual bleeding and acne in some next progesterone only contraceptive method is levonorgestrel releasing intrauterine system levonorgestrel releasing intrauterine system has a T shaped rod containing 52 mg of levonorgestrel it is reversible highly effective with a failure rate of 0.1 8% This video shows how to insert a levonorgestrel releasing intrauterine system Mode of action of LNG intrauterine system are it acts on endometrium leading to endometrial atrophy and preventing implantation it thickens cervical mucus and inhibits sperm penetration as side defects lng intrauterine system causes irregular pervaginal bleeding and hormonal symptoms like nausea headache breast tenderness and bloating The next temporary contraceptive method is long acting non hormonal reversible contraception which include copper bearing intrauterine contraceptive device copper iucd provides long term reversible contraception it is very effective with a failure rate of 0.3 to 0.4% it is a t shaped device with copper wire wound around the vertical stem of the polyethylene T insertion is done by trained medical personnel this video shows how to insert a copper iucd Mode of action of copper IUCD are it causes foreign body reaction in the endometrium preventing implantation copper content may inhibit spermatozoa motility advantages of using copper IUCD are it is independent of intercourse no systemic side effects and long term contraception Disadvantages of using copper IUCD are there is a risk of perforation during insertion could be expelled shortly after insertion may cause irregular bleeding or spotting there is a risk of pelvic infection and may cause cramps or painful periods and also can cause menstrual changes in initial months and medical supervision is necessary before during and after insertion contraindications to copper iucd are pregnancy undiagnosed genital tract bleeding active genital tract infections or pelvic inflammatory disease uterine anomalies or fibroids distorting cavity and copper allergy next move into permanent contraceptive methods or sterilization permanent methods of family planning are for females tubectomy and males vasectomy advantages of sterilization are it is almost 100% effective it is independent of intercourse but there are disadvantages of this method because it is extremely difficult to almost impossible to reverse and surgical intervention 
is necessary next move into a most important topic which is emergency contraception emergency contraception used to protect women from unwanted pregnancy following unprotected sexual intercourse or contraceptive failure two main forms of emergency contraception are oral emergency contraception can be used up to 3 days from unprotected sexual encounter oral emergency contraception includes oral levonorgestrel cocp method and ulipristal acetate copper iucd can be used up to 5 days from unprotected sexual encounter oral levonorgestrel it should be taken within 72 hours of unprotected sexual intercourse it does not provide contraceptive cover for the remainder of the cycle another method of contraception must be used next combined oral contraceptive method two doses of two tablets of combined oral contraceptive pill should be taken 12 hours apart next oral emergency contraception is ulipristal acetate it is a progesterone receptor modulator it should use within 5 days of unprotected sexual intercourse other form of emergency contraception is insertion of copper iucd it can be inserted within 5 days of unprotected sexual intercourse iucd acts as an emergency contraceptive by inhibiting fertilization by direct toxicity it affects implantation by inducing an inflammatory reaction in the endometrium and copper content may also inhibit sperm transport